Saturday night baseball from Oriole Park here in Baltimore. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the New York Yankees and the Baltimore Orioles. Baltimore have lost their last five games. They'll attempt to break that streak right after this. Kevin Gossman is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Baltimore. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Here's a guy that numbers can be a little bit deceiving. He has a whip in the 1.3 area and above range. It's a little higher than league average. He's been a little bit inconsistent. One good game, one bad game, but don't let that whip fool you. This guy's a much better pitcher than that. And if he brings his A game, he could be awfully tough in this one. Digging in, Ivan Jimenez. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Trying to bunt his way on to open the ball game, but he misses it for strike one. Guys, the Orioles, as they begin play here tonight, they come into this one in need of some kind of spark to turn them around as they find themselves in the midst of a five-game slide. The windup and the 0-1. Looking at a tough pitch called a strike. Still no balls and two strikes. Another 0 and 2 coming. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses 1 and 2. Expected to get a little cooler as we go on, but the temperature at game time 68 degrees. Check swing and he went around says the home plate umpire tough ruling but it's out number one with that here's a look at the Yankees starting lineup thoughts Dan who stands out well it's no secret they need the big Giancarlo Stanton to turn it around soon in the last 10 games he's hitting under 250 he's a guy they need to hit a lot better than that because he's a big part of this ball club here's big Aaron Judge his career numbers against Kevin Gossman. He comes in as a 316 hitter, and of those hits, three of them were of the home run variety. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Jones looking up. Out of here to the deepest part of the yard. A solo home run there for Aaron Judge. 45 home runs now on the campaign as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. Well, how do you beat the shift? You hit it over the shift, of course. You can't play guys up at the sky, so he lifts this one up and out of here. Standing in now, Aaron Hicks. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. 289 is the average coming in. A dozen home runs and 33 driven in. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And a neck high fastball that time. he's able to recover and he gets the second out at first and with that play over now time to check and see if our man is all right you can really see him favoring that leg and that is his plant leg which is always a concern but from the way he's acting out there I think it looks like he's going to be okay to try and continue striding forward now the Yankee cleanup hitter Giancarlo Stanton he went deep in the contest last night Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Two out, nobody on. It's 
two balls and no strikes the count is Stanton. Well I kind of wonder if he's not being as aggressive as he was before that home run. Hey this is a guy that can burn you again so I don't really blame him. And set up behind the plate is Kenny Jansen as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. Hey the book on Kenny Jansen D. Rowe not a very big zone but he will give you that low pitch below the knees. Yeah and he's consistent. You're OK with that as an offensive player. He wants to give that pitch below the knees. If this pitcher can execute consistently you better make the adjustment. The 2 1 home is swung on and missed for strike number two. I'd be shocked if you saw anything else but a fastball right here. He's blown those first two by him. Don't give this guy a chance to speed up his bat with something off speed. Bases are empty here with two men out. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Gary Sanchez would be next. Now the three and two pitch. Liner in there for a base hit. That's the difference in today's games. Pitchers will throw any pitch in any count. But the batter was able to deliver on a 3 2 breaking ball. Riding into the box, Gary Sanchez having a very nice year, currently second in the American League in batting average entering play. First pitch of the at bat. Here's a fastball chopped foul at the plate at strike one. Two out with the man at first. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Line towards center field. Jones will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. The Yankees are off and running early thanks to the solo home run. Bottom of the first coming up. It's now 1-0 New York. CC Sabathia is on the mound for game two. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Boy, was he super good in his last one, a complete game shutout, a true gem. He certainly would like to repeat that performance here. Standing in, Andreas Torres. it lead things off here in the bottom half Three of the first. The now the first Andreas pitch from CC. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they come in right in a five-game winning streak, and they've really got things clicking. Yeah, Matty, this team's coming together right now. They're playing dangerous baseball. You can tell the look in their eye. They feel good about where they're at. They've won a few games in a row, and they look to continue that trend today. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Line toward right center. Jimenez is there and he has it for the first down. Now a moment here in Baltimore for the Orioles starting lineup. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Well, someone that's been struggling a bit is Jonathan Scope. If you remember, he drove in over 100 runs last season, so everyone pretty much expected him to be a huge contributor again this year. That hasn't been the case so far, but it's still early. I'm hoping he starts the turnaround in this one. In now for the O's, Danny Valencia. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit the other way out toward right field. Judge will drift over to his left a few steps as he takes it for the second out. Third, the Stepping up to the plate, Manny Machado, one of the better hitters in the league this year, currently seventh in the American League in hitting.
First delivery to him on the way. Takes a knee-high fastball. Previous history with Sabathia, he enters with 19 hits in 58 tries. He's also hit three home runs. Sabathia's ready. Here's the 0-1. Here's a strike. Hey, this boy ain't messing around right now. Attacking his zone, showing a lot of confidence in his stuff. He's got two quick outs, and now he's got this guy down 0-2. Two out, nobody on. Now he drops a changeup on him. Strike three called, and a great pitch there to retire the side. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They're on the short end of a one-to-nothing score. Here's Didi Gregorius. He'll get us started in the top of the second. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And a fastball just below the knees. Ball one. Missed with a slider. Two well count the pitch. Swing and a little tapper, but that one rolls foul. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to left, number 25 for him on the year. And this is now a 2 to nothing lead for the Yankees. Well, he's definitely off to a shaky start tonight, giving up two home runs in two innings. The good news is they were both solo shots. The bad news is the rest of the lineup is salivating a dugout, waiting for their chance to face him. Brandon Drury will bat next as we run you the numbers to see the splits between July and August. Here comes the first pitch. Line to the right side. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Loud noises right here, fellas. Hey, he's going to have to mix it up a little bit more because they are on his stuff. Here's Miguel Andujar now as he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball one and oh he'll enter play here with an average of 314 three homers and 14 driven in. The one oh is swung on and missed strike one. One one. That's Splitter one. taken here. Two and one. You got to love that as a hitter right there. It doesn't happen much, but when it does, you have to find a way to take advantage of the count. And he got him to chase after a bad one there. Two and two. Uh, 
Ah, uh, got him swinging on the split finger pitch, and that's out number one. All right, let's take a look at the defensive alignment for the Orioles. And let's take a look at Jonathan Scope, another one of the versatile new regime ball players. Ability to play second base, turn to double play at six foot two, 200 plus pounds, and move over to third base with a rocket arm. Into the box, Jorge Polanco. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. A fastball that finds the outside corner. Drury, base runner at first with one out. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. A little bouncer. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Stepping in now, Ivan Jimenez, as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Great job to be able to lay off that pitch right there. You could tell the minute it came out of his hand, his eyes lit up at the plate. Trying to bunt his way aboard, but he can't connect, and it's one and one. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees leadoff man. Now the 2 1 pitch will not catch the zone ball three. Well he's been laboring a bit through these first two innings of work that's 37 pitches and ideally he'd be closer to 27 instead. one is swung on and missed and that's a full count now three balls and two strikes all right three two count with two outs the runner on first will be moving so we'll see what happens there are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play fouled off the three two one more time and he fouls this one off. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Lifted down the line and left. And this will fall, but it's a foul ball. Struck him out, so he was forced to make nine pitches that at bat, but he'll take it as the inning is over. The Yankees do get one on the solo homer. On to the bottom of inning number two. It's now 2 nothing New York. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. Previous history with Sabathia, he's got three base hits in 16 tries. He's also been a strikeout victim six times. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. 
but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big nope. inning started. And a ball, 1-0. A great case of a manager sticking up for his pitcher right there and giving that umpire an earful. He didn't get that pitch called the way he wanted it to, but the manager's planting a seed in that umpire's mind to try to expand the strike zone so some of those borderline pitches start to go his pitcher's way. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. 3 0 fastballs in for a strike. Takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Yeah, and as a starter, the last thing you want to do that is let a team good. answer when your guys just scored a run for you. So Got he's thinking man. ground ball right oh. here to try to get a double play and end this threat. Now at the plate, Jonathan Scope. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Offering on its way. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Nobody out, runner on first. And it's 0 and 2 to scope. Two coming from Sabathia. Stays alive, still 0-2. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. And this one's inside and high. One and two down. A runner at first with no outs here. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. All right, boys, let's take a look at how the Yankees are setting up on defense today. And let's focus our attention on shortstop Didi Gregorius. Not only has this guy been knighted, yes, they call him Sir Didi back in his homeland, Curacao. He's one of the best ball players coming down the pike, starting with Andrew Jones, Xander Bogarts, and it's Didi Gregorius this time. Hits from the left side of the plate with power and the ability to go in the hole with one of the strongest arms in the game. From the stretch. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Take something off, but it's one and two now. I love a well-executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation, you leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair, and you could have some problems. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Hey, there's a base hit right there on a changeup. Maybe not a good idea to throw this guy back-to-back -back changeups. Yeah, he seemed to be timing that first one. He let the first one go by, Danny. He was not going to let the second one go by. Nice job right there staying through that baseball. Here's the center fielder now, Adam Jones. As he'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner. It's ball one previous history with Sabathia he owns 25 hits in 83 at bats he's also hit five out of the park against him so keep your eyes on this matchup and a strike to even the count one and one hey that's got to throw the batter's game plan off a little bit he thinks sinkers coming double play situation he gets the ordinary fastball he's got to be thinking what's coming next and this is low ball two two and one
the 2-1. And he gets a piece there and chops it foul at home plate as the count moves to 2-2 two and two now. A 2-2 two two count. Here's the pitch. Hot shot down the line. And that is a fair ball as this one's heading for the left field corner. And he's in safely to third as they also push across his score to make it a one-run game. Just a great at-bat there. That one-out double gets a run across, and now they've got runners at second and third and are one solid swing away from making this a real big inning. Here's Chris Davis now. And she'll take strike one on the inside corner. Trumbull at third. Jones is over at second with one down in the inning. Behind 0-2 now. Classic change of speeds right there. Threw the hitter's timing off. Got a late foul ball. Interested to see where he goes now. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Good work there to prevent any advance. It's one and two. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Jimenez waits on it. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And they've come back to tie it up as it's now a 2-2 ball game. Always productive to score runs when you can. And that sacrifice fly right there drives home the second run of the inning. Digging in now, Caleb Joseph, runner in scoring position with Sudan. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. And the slider stayed low apparently for a ball. Hard hit to first. Underhar's got it, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We played two full, and we are tied 2-2. Here's big Aaron Judge. He's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. ready here's the first offering no balls and a strike to count here comes the 0 1 a wave and a miss a tick behind a good fastball and this is swung on and missed five quick strikeouts now and that's your first out of the inning Boy, he's really on a roll on the hill right now. As we roll through it again, remember, he struck out the side in the last inning, and now he picks up right where he left off by striking off the leadoff man here. Let's see if he can keep this going for a little bit. Into the box now, Aaron Hicks. As he swings and lifts it in the air out to left field. Mancini moving in to gone. Now batting. Giancarlo Stanton now. A base hit in his first trip. First pitch of the at bat. Owen won the count. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Super important situation right here for the pitcher to go one, two, three. Get back in the dugout, regroup. He struggled early, but if he can knock out this one, two, three inning, I think he can right the ship. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. 
They try to come in with the fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at two and two. Two out, nobody on. Liner in there for a base hit. Whoa, that ball was close. Whizzed right by his head. I think he probably heard it go by, guys. That's pretty unsettling for a pitcher. Trust me, I know. In now, Gary Sanchez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Sanchez is one of the few true superstar hitters in the game. You're no doubt aware of it, but it doesn't matter who he's facing. He's a major league threat to hit the ball hard somewhere just about every time he steps into the box. Yeah, one of the best hitters and, and truly blessed by the gods, but I don't think people realize the amount of time and effort this guy has put into honing his craft to become one of the great hitters in our sport. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Here's the one and two delivery. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. One left for the Yankees. Home half of the third coming up. All even at two and two. Late now is the designated hitter, Andreas Torres. Orioles. 0 for 1 for designated him here in this one. Andreas Torres. First pitch on its way. And that one just missed outside. Ripped down the first base line. And that's through for a hit. Pitcher went to the well one too many times. Back to back no, fastballs. No. Hitter was able to keep his hands through, deliver a nice line drive. Digging in to try it again. Danny Valencia. He flew out in his last at bat. First delivery to him on the way. A knee high sinker, tough pitch, strike one. Nobody out, runner on first. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Hey, as a hitter right here, you can't be leaning out over. I know those first two pitchers were in the outer half, but nothing saying he can't ride a fastball in right here. Look over from Sabathia. Here's the pitch. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. The one two. Into right field. That's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Boy, there's another base hit. This is just kind of like that gift that just keeps on giving. d -roll. both teams piling up the hits, and we're just in the third inning. Yeah, their ears were open on both sides during the pitchers' meeting today. Good plan at the plate. A lot of execution from the offensive side on both sides. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And the runner from second is in to score. It's a 3-2 to two ball game. And this will get in there too late. He's in there at third. 
Hey, Dero, they're making this guy pay. That's three straight singles and a run driven in. Yeah, nothing hit extremely hard. Killing him softly, station to station with those knocks. Standing in now, Trey Mancini. As he'll take a look at a strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. Runners are at first and third with none out. High and deep to straightaway right. Judge facing back to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. It's four to two. Great job there by this power hitter. Known for driving the ball out of the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. Ready for another chance. Jonathan Stoke. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. First offering on its way. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. This has been a rough inning for him on the mound, but now after that sack fly, he's got a reset. No one on base, so just get two more outs and let your teammates try to pick you up with the bats. Nope. Ball one. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0-2 and 1-1, and but now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at-bat. The 1-1 pitch. There we go. Swings and misses. Throw down. In time as he just gets the tag down. Not every catcher can make that throw, so that was pretty special. Benito Santiago made throwing from his knees famous when he was playing, but it's a really tough one to pull off. That's a long throw without any legs underneath you, so hats off to him on that one. The one two misses ball two bases are empty here with two men out and Sabathia misses here it runs full now three and two Mark Trumbo would be next. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And that ends the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and no one left. Three innings complete. It's the Orioles four and the Yankees two. Digging in now for the Yankees, Didi Gregorius. As we begin the top of the fourth. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Swung right over the splitter there, 0-1. little guessing game going on right now being laid on that fastball after the change he had to be sitting off speed right there the ball and two strikes to Didi Gregorius and this is swung on and missed in this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout and there's one away He's just bringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. Stepping in now, Brandon Drury. 
as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. One for one after a single his first time up. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Hits are even right now at five aside. Up around the face. High fastball right there with a two strike count. You know what that might be doing? Setting up the next pitch could be that hard slider down and away. Something breaking down and away off the plate. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. So stepping in, Miguel Andujar. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, what a pitch to start the at bat there. It's nothing in one. Hey, he gets a pass right there for that ugly swing. He's been having a monster season. Take a step out of the box, regroup. He'll get right back in this AB. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. After two breaking pitches, there's a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing at. So if you're looking for it, go ahead and turn that baby loose. 1-1. Uh, one, one. Strike two swinging. Hey, that's a really good pitch right there, and that's one of those off-balance swings as a pitcher you want to look in and say howdy if you're waving at me a real ugly swing and it gives you a lot of confidence when you make a guy look that bad so hopefully he has another pitch left in his repertoire to bury this guy and get him out of there throw on to Davis takes care of him and that'll end the inning one two three go the Bombers they trail it here four to two Digging in, Mark Trumbo. He Leading singled and scored in his first appearance Mike in this Wheeler. one. One of the keys Mark. to securing a win, Trumbo. they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Been a real big struggle for him so far on the mound. Four runs and only three innings, so it'll be interesting to see if he can settle in at all and make some adjustments or if this start will continue to run downhill. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. Trumbo, a California-born ball player. He was taken in the 18th round back in the 2004 first-year player draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. High in the air out to center field. Jimenez patrolling center makes the play one out. The center field, number 10. Opportunity now to take a look at some of the future Go. players in the Yankee organization as our road to the show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing well in recent action. One out now in the Orioles fourth and standing in the fine center fielder Adam Jones. Now here's the pitch. And a high strike there. 0 and 1. Four runs, five hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. Hit to short. Taken in by Gregorius. Throw on to first is in time, and Sabathia has got himself two quick outs. First baseman, number 19, Chris Davis. Here's Chris Davis now. He hit a sack fly earlier. Here comes the first pitch. Lifted into center field. Moving under it, Jimenez. And that's the third out. Nice job there by CC Sabathia. 
And this remains a 4 2 ball game. So coming to the play, Parhip Polanco looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Here's a pop up now. And this is taken in for out number one. How about it? Stepping in, Ivan Jimenez. And he's at risk of the old hat trick. Two strikeouts on his line so far. Yeah, and it seems like these hat tricks and golden sombreros are a lot more common than they were, say, 10, 15 years ago. Guys have stopped worried about striking out as much. It's really been an ideological shift in the game. That's a big topic of debate. Yeah, guy's not going to worry about three strikeouts if he can add a game-winning hit to that line. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Two runs, five hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0-2. You know, you don't face too many guys that have thrown a nasty splitter like he has today. He's had this lineup off balance all game with that pitch. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. Here's big Aaron Judge. As he comes up empty on a pitch right down the middle for strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and a fastball way off target here, and it's even at 1. Right there is a temptation pitch. Power hitters like this are looking for pitches that they can drive. So that may have been one where he was trying to get him to chase up above the zone a little bit. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. He's certainly done an amazing job right here grinding to get early two outs with the number two hitter and the middle of the order lurking he would love to see three four five with no one on base next to him tried to hold up there appeal down to first and no swing it's ball two the two two is a wave and a miss he struck him out So the Yanks go one, two, three. Still down by a count of four to two. Digging in, Caleb Joseph. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Caleb Joseph. Now the first pitch from CC. Right back to work is Sabathia as he gets ahead of the first batter here. Nothing in one. Now here's the pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Gregorius has it. And that's the first down. Now batting. Designated hitter, Andreas. Back to the top of the Torres. Oriole lineup now and stepping in, Andreas Torres. He singled his last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Knee high slider that he takes a look at. Low with a fastball here in the dirt even. It's ball one. Four two our score here as we play inning number five. Count is one and two now. Hot 
shot to third. Rui has it. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. Third baseman number two, Danny Valencia. Ready now, Danny Valencia. He's one for two in this one. Here comes the first pitch. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's one and oh. Two out, nobody on. Liner towards second. And that is in there for a two out base knock. Check that out right there. I love me some of that. Staying inside the baseball, moving it the other way. Sometimes a pitcher can execute his pitch. Doesn't mean the batter can't grab a knock. Riding in, Manny Machado, a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. First offering on its way. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Even though he let that one go, you know that's the kind of pitch he likes to take a big hack at. Not too many power hitters that don't like a stomach-high fastball, so he's probably not throwing that one again. Valencia is off of first with two away. A ball and a strike now to Machado. While his last time out, guys were just flailing away at that slider, but tonight, completely different story. I think their approach coming to the plate tonight was to lay off that pitch until he shows he can throw it for a strike. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to 2-1 and one now. Hit back up the middle. Gregorius to his left. He's there for it. And he'll go the short way to retire the side. One left for the Orioles as they can't add to their 4-2 to lead. Now in the box, Aaron Hicks, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Aaron Hicks. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Missed with a slider. Looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. Two and one. Two two is laid off and the count runs full. Wow, how about that? He was tempted to make a swing at that pitch right there. That was way out of the zone, but he just kept his hands back enough. Three two pitch high in the air out to center field. Jones is under this one and he puts it away for the first down. The batter. Striding forward now is the D.H. Giancarlo Stanton. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. First pitch on its way. Swing and a liner. And that gets down and we'll see if that's extra bases. Stanton on his way up to second. And he is in the second with a double. His third hit of the night. Wow, he must be living right because he gets absolutely jammed. Thought we were going to see the bat splintered, but instead he muscled the ball to right for a double. Might get some heckles from his teammates, but no doubt he'll take it. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. 
No hits to this point. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. In the dirt here. And he'll get back in safely as wisely he hadn't committed too strongly toward third base. The 1-1 one, one. takes a pitch for strike number two. One and two. To two balls and two strikes now. This is the big out to get right here. This is their best hitter. He's a great hitter, and he's a guy that kind of spark plug. He gets this team going. So if I'm on the mound right now, you really want to try to get this guy out to hopefully keep them from getting a potential big inning started. The 2-2. Two -two. He's at the knees and called strike three. That's just quality pitching right there for that strikeout. As we look at all five pitches, notice the location, all five down in the zone. Some guys are real good low ball hitters, but more often than not, keeping the ball down is going to lead to a lot of success on the mound. Here's Didi Gregorius as he rips it on the ground to second. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. To the bottom of the sixth we go. Four, five, and six coming up. The Orioles lead it four to two. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. It was an RBI sack fly for him last time through. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Strike one to start the at bat. Line drive to left. But coming on quickly is the left fielder to make the play for the first down. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. Here's Jonathan Scope now. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. That's a Down and away, ball one. Both teams with six hits so far. Hit on the ground toward the left. And quickly there are two away. Now back. Right fielder. Mark. Trumbo. Here's Mark Trumbo now. His line includes a single and a fly ball and two at bats thus far. Sabathia gets the sign. Here's the first pitch. Right over the middle, knee high. When you dive into the numbers in this start, it's hard to believe that this guy's pitching as poorly as he has. Over 70% of his first pitches have been for strikes, but a lot of those have been right down the middle, right into the hitting zone. And a hard sinker there, chopped foul at home plate. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. To first. Endahar brings it in. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Orioles. 
but they still lead this one four to two. Back here on the show, Orioles leading this one through six as we take a look at our game summary to this point. Settling in now, Brandon Drew. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. Swing and a ball chopped foul down the left side. The 1-1 home. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. One ball, two strikes, Tim. The one two misses for the second ball. Uh, he's just rolling right now and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Here's Miguel Andujar now. As he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. On the ground to the left side. Oh, and it's off Valencia's glove. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. Well, it took him till the seventh, but he gets his first hit of the game here, and that'll extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he didn't come out of his he didn't come out of what he was trying to do all day, Dan. Kept the front shoulder up, kept the ice water in his veins, and didn't try and get too big. Extends the hitting streak. Nice job. You know, D-Row, I talked to him before the game about the streak, and he said the toughest part is. He hopes to get hits early in the game to take the pressure off. He had to wait to the seventh inning in this one to come through. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Hey, we're moving into the later innings right here. This guy's continuing to pitch well with his first pitch strike percentage well over 60%. That's about league average so far, so he's right on point. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. And through six and a third, he's about to hit the 100 pitch mark now. Hey, you know, Matty V, this is all you can ask for as a manager in today's game in baseball. Very rarely do we see guys get through the seventh inning, so he's through the sixth here with one out at Mark DeRosa. So far, so good. A pretty decent outing. Yeah, and I think it's going to be batter to batter here for the manager if he's going to continue to ride this hot hand or if he's going to go to the bullpen. The one-two is looked at for ball number two. Hey, great job right there. Anytime you're down 0-2, I think it's a successful at bat if you can work it back to an even count and at least give yourself a chance. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And as Yankees fans hear on television quite frequently, see ya. So a two-run homer down the line in right field, his first home run of the season, as that'll pull him even at four apiece.
on the mound. He might have let up a little bit knowing the fact he was facing the nine hitter, but you just can't do that. Goes to show there are no weaknesses in any of these lineups. And now here comes Oriole manager Buck Showalter on his way to the mound. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So he departs in a tie ball game here tonight. You can already hang a no decision on him for this one. Your attention, please. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Now batting, the center fielder, Yvonne Jimenez. Into the box, Ivan Jimenez. As he'll run up to bunt here, but misses for strike one. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. the one one Zero. fastball and he swings through it to fall behind all right let's take a step back right here he's down one two three fastballs in a row there is no way he's throwing them four. ready to deliver the one and two Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. The 2-2. Two -two. Popped him up. It's Machado ranging into the outfield. Two down. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up of the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. So striding forward now, Aaron Judge. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. First delivery to him on the way. Hit sharply on the ground. A dive and he knocks it down. And they will still manage to get him at first. A spectacular all-around play and the inning is over. The Yankees get a couple on the two-run home run. Get up and stretch. All even now at four apiece. Hisashi Iwakuma will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Digging in once again, Adam Jones, one for two in the ball game thus far. Adam Jones. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit out towards second. Played on the backhand. And there's one away. First baseman, number 19, Chris Davis. Now at the plate, Chris Davis. He 
Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And that one stayed too low, apparently. All knotted up. 4-4 the score here in the seventh. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Catcher number 36, Caleb Joseph. Stepping into the box, Caleb Joseph. Career numbers with Iwakuma is just two for nine. Here comes the first pitch. Grounded up the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Iwakuma peers in. Here he comes 0 and 1. Popped up. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. Still all square at four apiece. Darren O'Day has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 56, Darren O'Day. Digging in the switch hitter, Aaron Hicks. And this tie ball game is a battle of the bullpens now, and I'm sure you're enjoying that, Dan. Bullpens are such a big part of baseball now, Matt. All these teams have such good 7th, 8th, and 9th inning guys. It all boils down to whose bullpen is better. First offering on its way. A bouncer up the middle. And this sails right over Davis's head. Yeah, and when the ball left the bat, you figured it was a routine out, but that's how quickly things can change. As it stands, there's a runner on second base and a base hit away from coming home. Giancarlo Stanton now. And it looks like this could be a critical at bat in this one. Well, a glance at my scorebook shows they haven't been able to get him out yet. So this could be a fun at bat to watch. Ready. Here's the first offering. Giancarlo swings, and this ball is hit well into left field. Gone! And that two-run home run delivers an eighth-inning lead. So a two-run homer down the line in left as they've taken a two-run lead. Long ball is playing in this one. That was the fourth blast of the game so far for this lineup. Dan Dero, what are your thoughts on what they're doing as a team so far? Dero, I don't know what you think, but uh, this is one of those cases where I think the hitters right now, they must be seeing beach balls up there right now because four bombs already in this one. Yeah, this lineup from top to bottom has power just oozing out of it. And this guy's missing over the heart of the plate. That's what happens. Michael Givens is on to pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. Next for New York, Gary Sanchez, 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, not his game so far. He's such a good hitter. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Up around the face. Read this one almost in the books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? 
Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Three and oh now. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. The 3 0. It's a high drive to left, back toward the wall, but he's going to run out of room. It's gone! It's a solo shot here for Gary Sanchez. 45 home runs now on the campaign, and it's now 7-4. to four. Gregorius will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning. We flash you back to take another look at a solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. First pitch on its way. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. The 0 1 pitch. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. Three runs already home here. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Trumbo has a read on it. And that's the first out of the inning. At the plate, Brandon Drury is working on a one for three thus far. First offering on its way. A fastball down near the shoe tops. Looks like a lefty and a right-hander throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. One zero. -oh. Here's a high pop up. Scope is there for it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting the first baseman. Stepping in, Miguel Andujar. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Trumbull has it in his sights. And that retires the side. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Yankees seven and the O's four. David Robertson is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. David Robertson. Leading off the inning, Andreas Torres. The and Torres. they'll need him to get something Jeremy going here. Andreas Torres. First pitch on its way. And this is low, ball one. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. 2-0 to the Baltimore left fielder. Yeah. 
Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' leadoff hitter. Changeup stayed low that time for ball three. If you're at the plate in this situation, you're only thinking one thing, and that is get on base. You got three balls. It has to be perfect over those 17 inches for you to pull a trigger. A walk is as good as a knock right here. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. Yeah, the guy's been on fire lately, hitting anything close. So I think this is the way to go here. Get the bat out of his hands any way that you can. Here's the first pitch to him. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. All right, all you're asking for as an offense is a chance. Well, your leadoff man has certainly done his part. He's gotten on base. You have to start clawing back into this game right now if you're going to find a way. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. Hey, you find yourself down 0-2. You've got to grind a little bit right here. I don't understand the game plan. Let's see if we can get this one back to even count. looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. Grounded back up the middle. That gets through for a base hit. He's now 3 for 4 in this one. Hey, Dero, not a bad night. Three singles, but hey, you'll take 3 for 4 every day of the week. Yeah, in today's day and age, Dan, where everything's a homer, a walk, or a strikeout, it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. Here's Manny Machado now. Lifetime numbers versus David Robertson. Not great. He's one for eight. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit sharply on the ground. And that's through into left. A base hit. The runner scores from second. Hey, Dero, there's a prime example of a little ambush piece, right? Come up there looking to hit right off the get-go. First pitch comes in, whack, base hit. Yeah, you want to know if this guy was ready to go? He had a game plan. Hashtag ambush. Here we go now. Angel Bielma will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He struggled a bit coming out of the bullpen here, so he needed that strike. Maybe it settles him down a little bit. 0-1, here it comes. Breaking ball in for a strike. Vielma at second, Machado at first with no outs. Down the first baseline. But uh, this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. The next 0-2. Seared down the first baseline. Oh, and this is past him down the line. A fair ball. And that's going to bring in the run from second to make this a one-run game now. And they're not going to get him at third. He's in there with nobody out as the potential tying run. Dan, that's a nice RBI base hit on a hard grounder down the first baseline. If the first baseman's holding him right there, it's probably a double play, but not the case. No question about it, Buell. Sometimes it's a game of inches, and that ball hit were vacated with a first baseman. If he was holding on, that would probably have been one of those 3-6-3 three, three double plays. Instead, it's down the line for a base hit. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Nobody out. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? On to first, a double play. 
Mark Trumbo now. Lifetime numbers versus David Robertson. He's gone two for eight. Here comes the first pitch. Called strike over the outside part of the plate. a bit late and he's fallen behind 0 and 2 hit in the air down the right field line judge sprinting after it and that is off the wall but in foul territory foul ball hit in the air out to right judge is under it no trouble with this one and the inning is over so they pick up three runs on three hits, no errors, and no one left on base. Ninth inning coming up, and we are tied 7-7. Nice look there at the Inner Harbor here in Charm City as we welcome you back to baseball on the show. And Hill Vielma is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third down. Number 12. Richard Blyer will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. Jorge Polanco will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. First pitch on its way. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. That is such a tough pitch to lay off right there, but you have to find a way. There's nothing you're going to do with that low sinker except foul it into your shin or hit a ground ball to the left side. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. High in the air out towards shallow right. Scope moving to his left. One down. Oh boy, he showed some pretty good range heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Standing in now, Ivan Jimenez. Big swing, and this one's launched to right field and deep. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Heavy sinker just stayed inside. Bases are empty, one man out. One and two. Started to chase there. They'll appeal it down to third and no swing. It's ball two. The two two. He's at the knees and called strike three. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. Here's big Aaron Judge. 
has. The first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 and 0. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a 1 for 4 day. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Bases are empty here with two men out. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And he strikes him out on a good pitch. So one run can win it as we head to the bottom of the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. This remains a seven all time. Here's the center fielder now, Adam Jones. He was a ground out victim last time up. Center fielder, Adam Jones. Jonathan Holder comes on to work on the mound, hoping to send this one into extra innings. Jonathan Holder. The pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Gregorius is there. And there's one down now. First baseman number 19, Chris Davis. Here's Chris Davis now. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Hit hard back up the middle. And that will find its way into center field for a one-out hit. A nice piece of hitting right there to put the winning run on base. I know there's one out in the inning. They got one more to play with that they could potentially be productive with. But this guy's looking to end this right now and put something in the gap. In now, Caleb Joseph, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. This year against right-handed pitching, Joseph is below the Mendoza line. The batting average under 200, unfortunately. Yeah, Matty, he's well aware of it. Runners in scoring position, that's where you need to be on your game. He's just expanded the zone entirely too much in these situations. That evens it up, one and one. Possible winning run on first, one man away. This one's down to third. Rury loves it. One there. Back to first. A double play. And we are heading to extra innings. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. We're back with more on this Saturday night after this. Into the box now. Aaron Hicks. He reached on an error and later scored his last time up. Aaron Hicks. First pitch coming, here it is. And that one stayed too low, apparently. The one oh. Is laid off for ball two. Eight. Take sign must have been on there because that's right down the middle. Strike one. That's 
He's fallen behind now, three and one. Don't go too far. The dangerous Giancarlo Stanton gets his shot next. The three one. Shot back up the middle. And a clean base hit. So he gets off the schneid, as they say, and is now one for five in the game. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Well, fastball count there yielded fastball mark. Yeah, you drive to the ballpark praying to get in one three one count a night and buy yourself that guaranteed fastball. He didn't miss it. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in again as we take it back now to the eighth inning. And this was a big one. The two run shot that helped get us to where we are now. Here's the first pitch. The fastball down near the shoe tops. Go ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Now the one and two pitch. And he won't go after the cut fastball two and two. Now a swing and a miss and Stanton is down on strikes for round number one. Well his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him and watching this at bat it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you could tell these things and exploit them. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. As he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. It's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. He had clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Here's the first pitch. Reaches out for one and hits it on the ground to second. Scope is there. Throw on to Davis. Takes care of him and that'll end the inning. The Yanks leave one. Still tied seven to seven. Next will be the designated hitter, Andreas Torres. Now for the Orioles, designated hitter, Andreas Torres. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Right over the middle, knee high. Nice. Right on the corner, a fastball that he takes for a strike. Now here's the pitch. That misses one and two. Line drive to center field. Lays himself out and makes a spectacular catch. Actually, they're saying he trapped it. Hey, that's a nice piece of hitting right there to put the winning run on base. Interesting here. This is where you play a little bit of manager. 
It's an AL game. Let's see if he employs a little National League style. Maybe ask the guy to bump and move the runner up right here. I don't think so, though. American League, it's nasty. You're trying to drive something in a gap or over a wall. Stepping in now, and he'll be Elmont. Now a bunt attempt here. There's one on the first, but not in time as he beats it out. The short now with the plate, Manny Machado. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Here's the first pitch. Foul tip into the catcher's glove at strike one. Possible winning run on first. One man away. Breaking ball in for a strike. Obviously not where he wanted that curveball to end up, but I guess it fooled him enough to get the swing and miss. Now the 0-2 pitch. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? Back to first. It's a double play. And we've got more baseball coming our way as the inning is over. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Ten innings in the books. On to the 11th. Still tied. Brad Brock takes the mound to start the 11th inning. Number 35, Brad Rock. Now at the plate, Brandon Drury. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Brandon Drury. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. And that's into the corner a foul ball in right. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. The two two. Popped him up. Joseph over to his left. And that's the first out of the inning. How about it? Here's Miguel Andujar now. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And the pitch. Just a bit jumpy that time. Swung on and missed. and one delivery one and one he's set here comes the one one hit hard on the ground a second and that finds its way into center for a one out base hit Hey, guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit.
Into the box, Jorge Polanco. Pulled toward right center field. Jones is under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. How about so it? back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, Ivan Jimenez. There are two gone and the possible go-ahead run at first. Here's the first pitch. And that's lifted the other way out to left. Mancini will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. One left for the Yankees. This remains a seven all time. Riding in once again, Trey Mancini, one for two on his line so far in the game. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. A drive to left. Get out of here, get out of here. Gone, they win it. Santa Maria. A solo shot here to left. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. Hey, when you get into extra innings, you're always looking for that one guy to step up and be that hero. And this guy was the hero tonight. What does he do? Steps up with a walk-off home run to end this thing in extras. Well, the lineup was clicking for him in this contest, and the man you see there was a major contributor. For that, he's the top player of the game. Yeah, he came through with a multi-hit game, and more importantly, they were big hits. He was a key contributor to the outcome of this one. One run finish, an eight to seven game tonight. The Baltimore Orioles seal up their 30th win at home on the season. Brad Brock earns his third win of the year in relief. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Fleezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Orioles. Eight runs on 12 hits. One error. They left four men on base. For the Yankees, seven runs on 12 hits. No errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 39 minutes. A reminder that Metro subway trains are available at the Lexington Market or Charles Center subway station. MTA light rail service will provide extra trains for the Penn Camden shuttle and can be picked up just outside the ballpark at the Camden Yards light rail station. <laughs>